Well, tonight there's a deepening mystery in Kansas City following the deaths of three men. Their bodies found frozen in a friend's backyard after watching a night of football. CBS's Astrid Martinez joins us now with more on the investigation and family reaction. Astrid. Good evening, Jerica. Well, tonight police say no foul play is suspected, but the grieving family members say they are still eagerly awaiting a medical report that could provide definitive clues into what killed these men or how these men died. We're in a really hard place right now. Growing frustration from the mother of David Harrington. Her son, along with Ricky Johnson and Clayton McGinney, were found dead nearly three weeks ago, frozen outside a friend's Kansas City rental home. What do you think happened? Honestly, I don't know. I, I know my son was not a drug addict. I know these men were not drug addicts. Police say the longtime friends went to Jordan Willis's house on a snowy January 7th to watch the Kansas City Chiefs play. After the game, family of the three men say they couldn't reach them. According to police, two days later, one of the men's fiance went to the house looking for him. When no one answered the door, she says she broke into the home and found a body on the back porch. Police discovered two more in the yard. Adriana Juarez is the mother of Ricky Johnson's child. How do you not know there's three dead bodies in the back porch? Police say Willis, who hosted the men, told him he saw his friends leave through the front door. Then he went to sleep with headphones on and a fan and didn't see texts from worried family and friends. Jordan Willis's attorney says his client is not responsible for his friends' deaths. Jordan had absolutely nothing to do with the deaths of his three friends. And police say that it could take up to six more weeks for that medical report to be released to the public. Jerika? Astrid, such a bizarre story. Thank you.